How's it going, boys and girls? My name is Michael SK, and welcome back to The Legend of Pirates Online. In the last episode, it was sort of just a filler. Told you guys what my plans were for the remainder of this playthrough. Uh, three main things that we're going to do uh, in order to complete this playthrough. Number one is to do this Raven's Cove quest, which just came out. To do the Voodoo Staff quest, which I am also actually available to do. Same with the Raven's Cove quest. And also, uh, the goal from the very beginning... To recapture the Black Pearl, this quest line that we've been on for the entire playthrough. So those are the goals, and we're going to take a bit of a break from the Black Pearl quest. I did make some progress, and I went into the next quest. Uh, we're still just gathering materials and stuff. And yeah, I, I actually need to go to King's Head and collect a bunch of shit. That is stuff that I can definitely do on my own time. But right now, we're going to start the Voodoo Staff quest... And then we'll probably jump into Raven's Cove. Uh, I've been having a lot of issues with my recording software, so if the video looks choppier than the previous episodes, I'd like to apologize. But I think right now everything should look fine. Since I render these videos out at 30 frames per second, I don't think you guys will notice anything too drastic. But for the past two days, I've been having issues with my recording software. I thought it would be a fantastic idea to update it. And instead, that has just brought a lot of... Uh, a lot of pain to both me and my computer and all the games that I try to record. But this game isn't exactly optimized, so I don't know if, like, I'm having issues now that I haven't before or if the game is just running how it always did with my recording software. I'm not so sure, but, yeah, I'm sorry. Can can I not talk to you, Tiadama? Can, can I seriously not even talk to her? What the fuck? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, come on. Come on. Ah, yes, you have learned much. You got that right. But much there is you still do not know. Yeah, you got that right. The doll is strong, yes, but the staff. The staff can be a weapon of consequence. To be used in the staff, you must be strong of heart. And I only know one way to test the strength of heart. This be a test against the elements. Earth, air, fire, and the sea herself. So... We're going to go to the catacombs and do literally what I've been doing in the Black Pearl quest line. Lovely. All right, I guess we'll get to that here in a sec, but I would like to also start the Raven's Cove quest. Let's see what we can get out of that. So, to Tortuga we go, and I was logged in earlier, and I saw, like, this weird-ass red line that was kind of stretching across the uh, the map. Is I, I, I don't know what it was. There, there wasn't anything on the red dashed line but there was definitely a line that i've never seen before and i'm pretty sure symbolizes something but <clears throat> what do i know but yes we finally get to jump into the raven's cove quest and i have no idea what to expect but as i remember hearing from people uh this is different from the other uh from the other quests in the game this is supposedly better the fire is still here from the last recording session that's great apparently that's a glitch and i think that glitch was there back in the original pirates online i have no idea what that glitch is but it's definitely really hot i'm sorry if you guys did not find that funny in any way but i had to say it uh speaking of very bad puns my friend jared is probably going to be joining some recording sessions in the future so be aware for that if you guys don't know jared jared is uh is someone i've known for years we met back in Toontown. He helped me with my playthrough. Uh, and he, he's been in a lot of videos. He has definitely made a face for himself here on the channel. But if you guys don't know about him, you will. You really will. Alright, Jack. What do you got? Oh, shit. It's using this shit again. That's interesting. Ah, I was just talking about you. Well, not you in particular, but someone much like you. I need help, mate. If you're pirate enough, eh? Here's the skinny. Seems that Jolly Roger has created a situation to draw me out, and it's a bloody catastrophe. Jolly Rogers instituted a naval blockade on rum. My sweet, innocent rum. Me and the other blokes around here are getting very thirsty. Uh, what's in it for me? Oh, I'll make it worth your while, for I need me rum, as do all these pirates. The only way to defeat Jolly is with one of El Patron's cursed blades. And the only place to find them is on... Raven's Cove. Dreadful place. 
But that's where they are. Now be off. Alright, to Raven's Cove we go. I'm pretty sure we can just teleport there. I could be absolutely wrong. Nope. Let us teleport. Because that is much better than sailing all the way from here in Tortuga. Or even Cuba for that matter. Sailing, sailing sucks. I, I am not a fan of sailing. By any means, I have come to really dislike sailing when it was supposed to be one of the funnest things in this game. Uh, one of the highlights, I think. I mean, you <laughs> can't do this shit in Toontown. So, I don't know. Alright, finally get to explore Raven's Cove. I've, I've actually never really looked into this place, so this is going to be my first time really looking at this area. And, uh, my quest wasn't completed because I think I actually had to sail here. I don't see the water really well either kind of misleading all right i guess i'll jump into my ship and then jump out since the game really wants me to sail here which is kind of dumb but yeah i gotta finally check out this raven's cove area and if i remember correctly and i probably don't raven's cove the area came out uh not at the same time the game came out so it was developed later on uh it, so the models the, the textures, the atmosphere, it should all be new. It should all feel and look and taste differently than what we are used to uh, in the rest of this game. Here we go. Investigate Raven's Cove and search for survivors. Ah, so this is, this is where the Fire Nation first attacked. All right. I guess we can take a gander. It looks pretty dead, not gonna lie. There's a lot of destroyed wood and uh, also a dead guy with a fucking dagger through his skull that's that's rated e for everyone it definitely is poor guy yeah there this is definitely an area where people are probably not alive and there's probably not much of a population what the fuck is this what is this okay maybe it's nothing <laughs> Well, let us continue on with wherever we wherever we're supposed to go this place is uh it definitely has a, a spooky feel especially since i'm the only one running around here uh all right oh there's someone alive and there's another red thing there we have crazy ned who's uh, yeah he looks a little crazy ah be you alive or be you dead are you the ghosts of which i dread Oh, fuck, he's rhyming. Why, you're no spirit or ghostly diviner. Neither am I, I'm just a miner. But I hold the key to the mine you seek, where live the blades so cursed and bleak. Uh... Pretend to be a ghost. Boo, boo! I be... Ah, fuck, we're also rhyming! I be a ghost of terrible fame. Ye be best... Ye best be speaking, or you'll end up the same. Very well, brave soul. Stay if you must, but don't cry to me if your mission's a bust. This this entire quest is completely ruined because of the fact they're rhyming. But a word of warning, ye hearty mate. Avoid red ghosts, or, do, or doom be your fate. Uh, what happened here? There was a battle fierce for El Patron's guns. The fighting went on from sun to sun. But when the smoke cleared, the fight was a tie, and Jolly's anger began to fly. He cursed the island, but I survived to tell the tale of those alive. Uh, how do I get to the mines? How do I get to the mines if the cursed blades are truly there? The blades are there, for I know these mines, for I was a miner in happier times. I will help ye if the others agree. <clears throat> Only then will I willingly give you the key. Others? What do you mean by others? I may be daft, but I know what I speak. There are others who desire the blades that you seek. Search the buildings and meet me fellow ghosts. They might help you out and be good hosts. But steer clear of ghosts you'll see on the streets. If you happen upon them, hurry your feet. In other words, run. Alright. I guess. Hello there. So we need to help the Raven's Cove ghosts. Oh, well, this quest system is definitely different all right i guess we gotta check out these buildings to the bar we go that is that's where i'll go if i die if i if i turned into a ghost 
If I were to turn into a ghost and I had to go pick a location I wanted to spend the rest of my life, or the rest of my ghostly life, I'd probably just head to the bar. Alright, what can I do with these guys? Ahoy, mate! If you have come to play cards, your luck has ran out. But we may be able to help you with old Ned. Get some of our gold back that Jolly cheated from us and we'll do our part, Savvy. Uh, what can I do? Visit T-Bones the Bouncer in Rat's Nest on Tortuga. I, I guess I gotta accept it. So this is sort of... Okay, I, I kind of see what's going on here. Uh, that... Alright, alright. I, I know I'm not explaining it. Alright, I guess I can't help her out. Uh, Do I have to do what we were just given? Or can I get like four more quests, then set out, do all the quests, come back... And we're all good to go. But that's pretty neat that you gotta get to like run around, choose a quest, and either accept or decline it. That's pretty neat right there. I'd, I'd have to say that is quite creative. Where else could we go here? We have to avoid the ghosts on the streets. So I better watch my ass. What the fuck? Is this a bird? Yeah, it is a bird. Wow. All right. It's kind of cool. Let's go over here. This place seems welcoming. I'm, I'm sure there's someone very kind in here. And we could sail from here, I guess. Interesting. This is Thomas Fishmeister's shack. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure Thomas is a very good looking man, and he has a lot of experience in the fishing arts. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's who this guy is. Of course he's a ghost. Helping out old Ne Ned, Ugh, are you? He's daft, but no ghost. How do I know that? I'm one, and we know our town, we do. Now help me with some fishing, and perhaps I'll help you. I love fishing. I actually really enjoy the fishing in this game. It's very relaxing. That's good news, mate. Catching fish, will f catching fish for me and doing good deeds for the other friendly ghosts will grant you entrance to the mines. Uh, catch 12 tuna fish, and we, I, I can't catch a legendary fish, though, but I get a bandit sea globe, which actually will greatly help me in sailing, I believe, so, fuck, maybe I should level up my, uh, maybe I should level up my fishing for this, maybe, I don't even know what tuna are, like, I, I do a lot of fishing in this game, quote-unquote a lot, but I don't exactly know what a tuna fishes. All right, so we have to go to Tortuga and we have to do fishing. All right, and I really want that globe. That globe seems like it would be helpful in the future when I'm that level. Where else can we go? We checked out the bar and we checked out this shack that's just sitting over here. Could we go into this building? I saw some other buildings when we were walking around that we could go into. Can't go in there. Uh, anywhere else here in this square? Maybe somewhere over here. I don't mean to do any bad rhyming. Uh, I can't go that way. And I gotta be careful of that red thing. Actually, what will happen if I go up to it again? Now that now that I know that it's dangerous. Uh. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. No. No, you've gotta be kidding. That was instantaneous. God damn it. That is so fucked. That is so fucked, dude. Come on. Come on. I guess they're dangerous. Alright, I guess they're dangerous. Now I'm in the Raven's Cove Jail. They haven't had a, a prisoner here in quite a long time. But now they do have one. The fuck? Why am I turning? Okay. Whatever. Alright, let's get out of jail and let's hope my... Uh, my groggy status doesn't last too long. Hey, what the fuck is this jail? Why does this exist if, like, there's no population here? Did the ghost just carry me in? Did he phase me through the wall and just throw me in? Because I'd, I'd believe it if that actually happened. 